What's up guys and welcome to a brand new video. We're going to be test driving my new GC8 2000 WRX. Got my little GoPro set up here. GoPro Hero 2 unfortunately. But uh, we're going to make do with what we've got. Maybe I'll turn it around you can see a little bit of face cam while we're driving. I don't know. I don't have a big holder for this camera. This would have been ideal. But anyway, we onto the GoPro Hero 2. I'll probably use this for audio. Japanese coilovers. So far, I'm impressed. Um, I'm obviously hindered a bit here with with the camera, um, but it feels good doing the pulls. I'm sitting now at about 1,500 RPM. I've got my foot flat down right now. There's no AVCs. There comes the boost, and I'm in 4,000. Yep. 
I would say okay. I, I gotta I gotta raise that slightly higher. I would say probably 185 to 190 kilowatts. And the thing is, the car is it's so much lighter than its its counterpart, like the bug eye and the blob eye and all that. So you really do feel the boost come in a little bit harder. And plus it's got a TDO5 16G, so that turbo is slightly bigger than your average VF35, VF22 and all that jazz. I really did. Anyway, you guys have got to endure this. Um, so, th so far, my thoughts on, on the car, it actually, well, kind of beat my expectations to be honest. Um, I used to own these cars. This is my fourth GC8. I owned them a very long time ago. I started buying Subarus 2006. No, it would have been before that. 2004. And I mean, I was young, I was stupid, I had no mechanical sympathy whatsoever, and I kind of wrecked everything that I touched back in the day and the Subarus are no exception so on the GC8 models in particular I went through I think two engines and then three diffs and four gearboxes or four gearboxes and three diffs uh, not a great example of being a Subaru owner especially with no mechanical sympathy like I said I was young I was in my 20s and uh, all I wanted was the noise and I, all I wanted to do was just kind of show off and launch and and you know, it's not all about that anymore. You can say I've turned into a fine wine, a little bit more mature. Fine wine, maybe some off cheese, maybe, instead of fine wine. Anyway, it is what it is. I've got the vehicle. Um, it's moving. It drives. It's not the fastest, but um, perhaps one day it'll be a little bit quicker than what it is now. Um, till then, I'm just going to be doing some maintenance and stuff on it, so um, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry that I can't really get out of second gear at the moment. I also didn't really want to leave, you know, the residential area and jump on three ways because I don't know the car, I don't know if something will break. And, um, so we'll, we'll probably do that another day, at least you got to hear it. Sounds good, it really does. A quick one save on the engine bay, try to figure out what's I don't know if I ever showed you guys in the previous video, but how neat the interior is. It's actually so surprising. I mean, the ones that I own, I owned them over 10 years ago, and, and the interiors were definitely not as neat as these. I did have one that I stripped out the entire dash, and I retrofitted, was it retrofitted the right word? I fitted a 2006 Hawkeye STI, complete dash, steering wheel, everything moved into the GC8. I had to do a little bit of trimming on the sides for the dash to actually fit. Because that the, the Hawkeye is slightly wider, but I managed to do it. But anyway, I'd never do that again. That was pretty stupid. You just got to appreciate the old things, and this is this is one of the things you got to appreciate. Um, I, I did talk about the interior, but yeah, I don't know if I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that whole uh, what you call it period correct boost controller and all that jazz. Roof lining still okay, a little bit dirty. Um, but yeah, it looks good. The seats are in fantastic condition. Anyway, I kind of feel bad about not uh, charging the GoPro and all that stuff and hopefully the video turns out just okay. It, it was, I'll be honest, it was pretty difficult holding the camera and trying to focus on talking and all that stuff and then changing gears and I could probably do that in an automatic car. So, you know, props to those guys like Adam LZ and Tommy Effia because they just hold the camera and go for it and they drive and they shift and they race and they... Like, how the hell do you do that properly and concentrate? Okay, look, I was doing it on tiny residential roads, but yeah, anyway. Um, that being said, the car does drive well. Uh, power steering is very whiny, so I'm probably going to change up that pump pretty soon. And there's a lot of cosmetic stuff, so um, I'm going to focus on neatening up the car in the next few days. Um, there's little issues. I'm assuming there was another lip here, and these 
holes were drilled in. It was drilled in really badly. Uh, these holes were drilled in, and uh, you know, I suppose when the lip is here, you don't notice these holes, but still, I want to fill them up. I want to fix that this little gouge there. Uh, I want to pull off these STR stickers. Pink badge, cool. I used to rock that back in the day, uh, but it's going to go back to the, the standard uh, stickers and come off. Black is going back to the uh, royal silver. Stickers are going to come off. Uh, those will probably come off. I'm probably going to go for the, the WRX logo at the back. The beading flew off apparently on the freeway or something and uh, hit a couple cars. The, the beading's with me. I just need to see if I can maybe get it to fit, if not buy a new beading. That badge, I'm pretty sure, is original. I'm 90% sure that badge is original. It looks original. It looks like it came off maybe a, a blob or a hawker. Um, but I want it off. It's not an STR. The wing can stay. I mean, I, I, I like the big obnoxious wing. HK's power sticker, come off. Number plates, I need to go see R's car uh, in the next day or two. Um, it'll definitely pass to fix the brake light. That was an issue. and I don't see any other issues that would stop it from, from actually passing. Um, yeah, and then a little bit later I need to figure out what ECU is in the car. Is it a stock ECU? Maybe I've got a surprise. Maybe there's a, p a power FC inside. Who knows? The car doesn't need a respray. Look at that. Anyway, that's it for the video. Um, I'm happy. I'm, I'm happy I got the car. I'm happy I'm back on the bandwagon with the whole filming thing. And uh, glad that you guys are commenting and appreciate and uh, appreciate the support from the last video. I really do. So. First of all, from me, um, I need a shave, first of all. Secondly, thank you so much for all the support, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.